Hi, my name is uh, Rodrigo Pirmes. I'm from Rio, from Brazil. Um, I'm one of the co-founders of the International Trichoscopy Society. Um, one of my lectures was about the early diagnosis of frontal fibrosis in alopecia. So during this lecture, uh, I emphasize the importance of the early diagnosis of the condition because we are facing um, an epidemic of the condition of frontal fibrosis in alopecia. So it's really important that uh, we learn how to diagnose this condition very early. Uh, we know it's a scarring condition, so patients, they cannot recover their hair. Uh, so when frontal fibrosis alopecia was first described, it was, you know, all about the hairline, this recession hairline. So during the lecture, I emphasize that we have many other clinical features that we should look for in these patients, such as facial papules, like implantous pigmentosis, glabella red dots. You know, there's a number of clinical features that these patients, uh, they also present. And I also emphasize the importance of trichoscopy in the early diagnosis. Uh, it is really helpful, especially in these patients that uh, they sometimes just report that they are having, you know, minor hair loss or they just notice some eyebrow thinning. If you use trichoscopy, it is really helpful uh, in the diagnosis of this condition. And I also talked about uh, trichoscopy of lichen planum pilaris and frontal fibrosis in alopecia. Um, and one of the main messages is that uh, trichoscopy is really helpful, again, in the early diagnosis of these two conditions. And it's really helpful to differentiate if you have um, a cicatricial or a non-cicatricial alopecia. Something else that I would like to add that is very important uh, in trichoscopy uh, is to use trichoscopy to guide your biopsy. So um, in all hair conditions you can use trichoscopy to guide uh, to find the best biopsy site and that's going to help your pathologist to give you the correct diagnosis. And uh, another role of trichoscopy that is really important is in the follow-up of your patients. And it's really nice because you can take before and after pictures and show to your patients that you are doing the right thing for them.